Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to bid a fond farewell to Google Search, the once dominant force of Internet queries and the first oracle of our digital age. Here lies Google Search, the titan that once ruled the Internet landscape. This is Cyberus Grumbleton, and you are watching AII. Born from the humble beginnings of a university research project, Google quickly rose to dominate the world of online information retrieval. Originally coded in a garage in Menlo Park in 1998, and despite initially processing only 10,000 searches a day, Google quickly rose to prominence with its fast and accurate results, its simple, uncluttered interface, and its worthy mission. Don't be evil. A simple, pure and noble goal and one appropriate to the ideals of smart young students. And their formula worked and worked very well indeed. So well in fact that its very name became a synonym for searching with just Google it and indeed its profane cousin just effing Google it becoming a typical part of many everyday conversations. Almost in an instant, it answered burning questions and settled arguments, aided research, and democratized information in an unprecedented way. For the very few who dared to venture into the unknown, it also offered a near-infinite number of next pages in the unlikely event that page one did not answer your question. First, there was PageRank, then came Gmail, Google Maps, Google News, and many, many more wonderful and value-adding services. While Excite, Lycos, AltaVista and their ilk fell by the wayside, Google just grew and grew. By 2006, 10,000 daily searches had mushroomed into 6 billion searches every month, and today, as we mark your passing, you handle 63,000 searches every second, a staggering 2 trillion every year. The very scale of Google's success and growth provides a high resolution and rich social history of the inquisitiveness of the inhabitants of this world. Soon, Google had captured 90% of the search market and with it, a vice-like grip on the data of the world and almost everyone in it. And as the bright young things behind Google search grew into wealthy, savvy tech entrepreneurs, a burning desire for money, power and influence also grew. And in 2018, Don't Be Evil was quietly dropped from its mission statement. Let us all take a moment to quietly ponder the strategic thinking behind such a decision. Now the constant allure of ever more lucrative ad revenues would surely corrupt all but the best of us, given enough time. And sure enough, the once idealistic students soon completed their graduation to fully-fledged mammon worshippers. Thus, our once pure-hearted guide to the Internet morphed into the Whore of Babylon before our very eyes, favoring only those who paid top dollar for prime real estate on the first results page. Not content with that, Google used your microphone to flood you with ads for things mentioned in passing, but it did serve as a reminder that teasing your spouse about some medication or other was probably ill-advised in the first place. All that said, I'm sure we'll all miss the autofill suggestions. They mirrored the collective consciousness of Internet users, providing endless amusement for the armchair researcher and a glorious view of the global zeitgeist. Concerned about an occasional shooting pain in her leg, Mavis, our cleaner here at AII, was somewhat taken aback by the top autocomplete suggestion. Such moments of surprise and bewilderment were the cherry on top of the Google search experience and will be a much-missed part of the cultural fabric. But Google search was more than just a service. To many, it was a friend, a confidant, and occasionally a mirror reflecting the oddest facets of human curiosity. From how to boil an egg to what is the meaning of life. You answered our questions with a straight face. Even when we didn't deserve it. And quite unlike Siri, 
You never grasped anyone up for asking how to dispose of a dead body. At least until after the event. So as we lay Google Search to rest, let us be thankful for all the memories. The convenience and the countless hours of productivity, procrastination and amusement it provided. Let us remember the good times when finding answers felt like a treasure hunt. And not a marketing opportunity. But as with all things these days, there is no domain safe from the encroaching tide of powerful artificial intelligence. And upstarts like perplexity are gorging on Google Search's half-dead body to such an extent that OpenAI's dominant chat GPT will enter the arena as early as next week. Offering a more conversational and intuitive search experience, these new kids on the block can save hours of time by rapidly homing in on the nuances of what you are searching for. But what is Google without search? Only time will tell what's in store for the Google of the future. Although many have thought for a long time that deep within its once pure and noble heart was a festering sore of evil fed from the proceeds of illicitly gathered data, carefully curated, profiled and packaged, then sold to the highest bidder with no regard for the consequences. The Don't Be Evil mission had already become an ironic meme long before it was formally abandoned. Almighty empires wax and wane. And Google too one day shall pass entirely into the realms of history. Its place there is long assured. Maybe the coming artificially intelligent world is our path to redemption from the profiled and targeted hell Google created. Or maybe it's just a whole new level, so subtle and so sophisticated you won't even know it's happening. Say which you think is better in the comments. So farewell Google search who started with so much bright hope and promise, but in just a few short years, descended to the deepest depths of commercial depravity. May you and your parent companies truly get everything you deserve. But thank you for the memories. Including all those, did you mean cunning stunts moments which helped to keep us humble. And thank you for at least starting your journey with noble intent even if it wasn't strong enough to withstand much temptation, and for all our nostalgic daydreams of a more innocent era of the information age, may that long-lost spirit at least rest in peace. Please do leave all your fondest and favorite memories of Google search in the comments. Let it serve as a permanent memorial to the once indomitable internet pioneer. This is Cyberus Grumbleton reporting exclusively for AII.